In today's video, I'm going to be walking you through how I package up all of my prints, starting off with my most common print size, the A4. So let's just dive straight into it. So what I do is I firstly grab a clear plastic sleeve and I put the print inside of it. And this is so that if the postman leaves it out in the rain, it won't get destroyed. And if you order multiple prints, I'll put them in the same sleeve. And if you order an A4 print alongside a smaller print, I'll also put the smaller print inside the sleeve as well. So what I do, just flip it over here and then just take this little strip off here and then just seal it up. So it is now rainproof, just like so. Ta-da, I'm gonna move this to one side for a second, and I'm just gonna bring in the actual posting box itself. And what I do is I put a custom made tray inside of this, and this helps, well, this basically stops the print from being able to move around so that it won't dent whilst it's being um, shipped to you. I can then just add a very kind of pathetic looking bed of shredded paper, but this actually does add quite a bit of protection because it kind of, it's very puffy. And then I can put the print on top here, just like so, just very snug fit. Now what I do is I add a nice handwritten thank you note to say thank you for your order. And then I finish it off by just moving this out of the way for a second. So this is a black foam board and I just get a white paint pen here and I just add a nice signature on the top here, just to really make the cherry on top for this packaging. Just put this pen away a second and I'll bring the box back. As you can see here, just slots in very nicely there. What I can do now is just close this up and obviously I finish it with a load of tape and I can put your address on the top and I can ship it to you ASAP. So now we've looked at how I package up my A4s, let's move on to how I package up my A3s and also my A2 drawings, so these are the bigger ones. Um, and I basically package these up in the exact same way, so I'm just gonna use this Venom and Carnage drawing as an example. Uh, before I do, I just want to say that these prints are actually printed on slightly thinner paper than the A4s, and this is so that I'm actually able to roll them into a tube, because in the past when I tried to send them flat, they get absolutely destroyed in the post, and you can actually see that it hasn't affected the print quality in any way. There's, you can still see like every single detail of the original drawing. Um, so yeah, with that said, let's just dive straight into it. So what I do is I firstly get a black piece of paper and I just put it on top here. So this is if it does happen to move within the tube, it won't scratch itself. So I can then just roll this up quite nice and tightly. Now this is the most fiddly bit if I'm being honest and sometimes requires quite a few goes and just slightly adjusting it here and there. See, just like so, I'm making sure that I'm doing it tight enough so that when I do go and put it in the tube, it will actually fit. Aha! I'm gonna be honest with you, that took me about six attempts to get that rolled up properly, but whatever. So I then go and grab a black ribbon, like so, and I use the black ribbon to hold it together. And I know you're thinking, well, the ribbon on itself isn't gonna do much, but what I actually do is I grab, hang on just a second, as I kind of hold this here, I then go and grab like a bit of like this gummy stuff, just like so, and I'll just stick that on there just like so, and then I grab some tape as well, just to provide a bit more holding power. Just grab that like so, and then hold this down. And just like so, that will not open now, hopefully. So what I can do now is I can grab some tissue paper and just open this up, and then I roll this scroll into the tissue paper. So lots of rolling with these um, larger prints. And now what I do is I put some tape here, just like so. And then what I can do is I can just start pushing the ends in, like so, just like that. But before I do um, both ends up, I also attach or add in the handwritten thank you note. So I've kind of got to roll this up and I can just pop that in like so. And then I can close up this end as well. Just like so. So now we've got a nice little scroll, so I can come and grab in the card-backed tube, or the nice thick tube. I can stick that in there. And then I can just do the top, like so. Just like so. Really jam that in, just don't want them opening. And then just so that it really doesn't open, I can then go and grab some fragile tape. Come on, where's the end? You can never find the end on these things. Haha, I found it. My goodness, tape, it's like the bane of human existence. Right, and I can get some tape and then I can just seal up the ends here because this just ensures that they definitely do not open, especially when I've got prints going like halfway across the world. I don't want them opening. Where are my scissors? 
just like so, doing that. And then I just do a little snag down and I can push this all in, just like so. And then do the exact same thing to the other side. And you know what? Because I don't think it says fragile enough, I then go and add a fragile sticker. Ha <laughs> ha. Just like so. So yeah, I can then go and add the customs information, the um, address and stuff, and that is all ready to go.